WISE is an American manufacturer of cloud computing systems. They are best known for their video terminal line introduced in the 1980s, which competed with the market-leading digital. They also had a successful line of IBM PC-compatible workstations in the mid to late 1980s, but were outcompeted by companies such as Dell starting late in the decade. Current products include thin client hardware and software as well as desktop virtualization solutions. Other products include cloud software supporting desktop computers, laptops, and mobile devices. Dell Cloud Client Computing is partnered with IT vendors such as Citrix, IBM, Microsoft, and VMware. On April 2, 2012, Dell and Wise announced that Dell intended to take over the company. With this acquisition, Dell surpassed their rival Hewlett Packard in the market for thin clients. On May 25, 2012 Dell informed the market that it had completed the acquisition, renaming the company Dell Wise. History <laughs> 1980s Wise Technology was founded in 1981 by Garwing Wu, Bernard Zay, and Grace Zay. The company became famous in the 1980s as a manufacturer of character terminals. Most of these terminals can emulate several other terminal types in addition to their native escape sequences. These terminals were often used with library card catalogs such as Dynex. In 1983, Wise began shipping the WY-50, a terminal that was priced some 44% lower than its nearest competitor. It became their first big selling product, and had a larger screen and higher resolution than competitor products at the time. Following the WY-50 was the WY-60, the best-selling general-purpose terminal of all time. In addition to standard character mode operation, the WY-60 supported box graphics that could be used to produce more attractive displays. The WISE 99 GT and 160 terminals added graphical capability through Tektronix 4014 emulation. The WY-325 and 375 models added color support with Tektronix graphics. In 1984, WISE entered the personal computer marketplace. The first of these was the WISE 1000, a computer based on the Intel 80186 which did not see huge volumes because its integrated hardware was incompatible with the hardware used in the original IBM PC. Next came the WISE PC, an IBM-compatible computer based on the 8088 processor, which had a good following due to its slimline design. Later, WISE introduced personal computers compatible with the IBM PC, at based on the 80286 and 80386, which were top sellers. WISE sold through two-tier distribution, which limited growth in the late 1980s as mail-order companies like Dell and Gateway entered the marketplace. In 1984 WISE became one of the leaders in the general purpose text GPT terminal industry and on August 17, 1984 went public on the New York Stock Exchange. In the following years, WISE added the PC product line WISE PC 3216. The WISE 3216 was based on Intel's newest 386 chip. It sold for $1,500 less than a comparable Compaq DeskPro, $2,000 less than an IBM System 80, and performed at a higher speed than both. In 1989, WISE developed LAN-attached communication devices. 
Topic: 1990s. Wise was an early innovator in offshore electronics production, with its products being built in Taiwan in company-owned facilities. In 1990 Dr. Morris Chong organized Channel International, a Taiwan consortium, which gathered business owners together and was a booster for Taiwanese individuals owning U.S. companies. In 1990, Channel International acquired WISE. From 1990 to 1994 WISE focused on PCs with CPU upgradability. WISE created a proprietary upgradability concept called Modular Systems Architecture, or MSA. In October 1992, WISE became ISO 9001-2000 certified. In the mid-1990s, WISE Taiwan became the parent company of WISE Technology. As the PC and server industry became more competitive, in 1994, WISE management began to focus on making terminals. They worked on enabling them to support the graphics and capabilities needed to display Windows and Internet applications. In late 1994, the company developed two thin client prototypes, and selected Citrix, then a small company, to provide the protocol and server side of the model. The machines differed from traditional text mode terminals in that by supporting modern GUI applications using a mouse and windowing systems. The clients are able to access these applications using protocols that send drawing commands or raw pixel data instead of strings of text characters over the data connection. Because of the greater bandwidth this requires these machines typically use Ethernet connections to the server, rather than the minus 232 rupees links used in the past. In November 1995, Citrix and Wise shared a booth at the Comdex trade show. Wise introduced the Winterm Windows Terminal now referred to as a thin client models 2000 and 2500. Citrix introduced WinFrame, the Windows NT-based Windows mainframe software it connected to. At the show, the Wise Winterm was awarded the Best of Comdex award. Later, Wise secured a patent number 5918039 for the thin client design. In 1997, Microsoft released Windows NT Terminal Service Edition, which supported the WISE Thin Clients. After the Thin Clients were well received by the market, WISE introduced several additional models, including standalone Winterm 2300, LCD Monitor Integrated Winterm 2600, and the tablet-shaped mobile Winterm 2900 and 2930 models. In 1997, Wise introduced the first thin client remote management software system, Wise Remote Administrator. In 1999, Wise Technology once again went public, but this time on the Taiwan Stock Exchange. Zay. Topic 2000 Present in 2000 Wise acquired Netie Technologies of Texas, and turned Netie's Rapport Thin Device Management Software into the Wise Device Manager. In 2003 Wise went private and company shareholders reorganized the company, selling assets such as real estate and company-owned manufacturing facilities in favor of contract manufacturing. In April 2005 the controlling interest of WISE was acquired by Garnett and Helfrich Capital, a private equity firm specializing in venture buyouts. In 2005, WISE, working closely with Citrix, Microsoft, and VMware, expanded thin clients to support the newly introduced Virtual Desktop Infrastructure VDI. In April, Wise and IBM signed a joint initiative agreement. JA, Tarkhan Maynor was appointed CEO in February 2007. 
Under Maynard, the company significantly expanded research and development. In August 2007, Wise recapitalized, with overseas investors regaining the controlling interest from Garnett and Helfrich Capital. In March 2008 the company formalized a partnership with Novell. In October of that year, Wise formed a global partnership with IBM under the Global Alliance Agreement. In August 2010, Wise created its mobile cloud business unit with the introduction of Wise Pocket Cloud. The mobile cloud app allows users to access their desktop on iOS or Android devices. In the same month, WISE became ISO 9001-2008 certified, and in November became ISO 14001-2004 certified and announced a strategic collaboration partnership with Cisco. The company introduced zero clients in 2010. According to the IDC, as of 2011 WISE is an international leader in what are called enterprise devices, terminal clients and thin clients combined. In April 2012, Dell announced an agreement to purchase Wise for an undisclosed amount. The acquisition was completed on May 25, 2012. Topic Recent Awards Education Investor Award 2011 Finalist, Technology Supplier of the Year Wise voted as 2011 Top Workplace 2011, Microsoft Windows Embedded OEM Partner Excellence Award 2011 Mobile Merit Awards Winners Announced, Wise PocketCloud Tech America Foundation announces 2011 American Technology Awards Finalists, Wise Zenith The Top 20 Cloud Software and Apps Vendors of 2011 2011 Appy Awards winner Productivity category Wise Pocket Cloud Thin Zero Client Computing winner Wise Zenith 1 Zero Tech and Learning Leader of the Year Award Topic Notable Employees Martin Eberhard began his career as an electrical engineer at Wise Technology, where he designed the Way 30 ASCII computer terminal as his first product. Eberhard went on to be a founder of Tesla Motors. David Dix worked first on the very first Wise terminals and later the high-end personal computers. David also worked at HP prior to Wise. Dix is working at Shortel. Wise CTO Kurt Schwebke and CMO Jeff McNaught prototyped and led the design of the first Winterm products. They are also holders of the first thin client patent. Tarkon Maynor was appointed CEO in February 2007. Topic. Facilities. Wise Technology is headquartered in Silicon Valley in Santa Clara, California. It also has development centers in India, and Beijing, China. It has sales offices around the United States and in <laughs> Environmental initiatives WISE has published research on the environmental benefits of cloud client computing. According to the company, to minimize environmental impact, their cloud client computing products are smaller than that of competitors. Up to 90% of WISE products can be recycled, and the hardware meets WEEE recycling process guidelines. The company also has an e-waste recycling program. Topic Products Topic Software Cloud SoftwareWise EMM, Wise Cloud hosted software that enables mobile device management for iOS and Android. Wise Zero, Wise Zero engine software that drives the ultralight Wise Thinos operating system. 
Wise Pocket Cloud, Wise software that allows iOS and Android mobile devices to access desktop files and applications remotely. Wise WSM, Wise server software that distributes and manages OS and application software to just a few or many thousands of cloud PCS management software. Wise device manager, Wise enterprise class server software that allows easy configuration and management of just a few to many thousands of Wise thin clients. Wise Configuration Manager, Wise Server Software, allows full integration of Wise Windows embedded thin clients with Microsoft management platforms, including SCCM virtualization software Wise TCX, Wise software that resides on Wise Cloud clients to accelerate and enhance the user desktop experience. Wise Virtual Desktop Accelerator, Wise software that resides on cloud clients. It accelerates traffic from server to cloud clients, even over lower speed or long distance TCP connections. Wise PC Extender, Wise software that resides on legacy PCs that enables them to act as diskless cloud clients to leverage existing PC investments. Hardware Thin Client SS10 Economical, compact thin client running Wise Thinos operating system. C10 Compact Thin Client running Wise Thinos operating system. V10LE, expandable thin client running Wise Thinos operating system. Supports dual video and numerous I.O. options. R10L, very thin client running Thinos operating system, supports multiple video displays and is suited to high-end users running demanding multimedia apps. S30 Economical, compact thin client running Windows Embedded Compact Operating System. C3OLE – Compact Thin Client Running Windows Embedded Operating System V3OLE – Expandable Thin Client Running Windows Embedded Compact Operating System. Supports dual video and numerous I.O. options. C5OLE – Compact Thin Client Running a Linux Operating System T50 Compact, economical thin client running Ubuntu Linux operating system. Sets a new price, performance standard for thin clients. V5OLE, expandable thin client running Linux operating system. Supports dual video and numerous I.O. options. R50L, high performance thin client running Linux. Supports dual video and numerous I.O. options. R50LE, the R50L with an expansion slot to add more connectivity options. C90LE, compact thin client running Windows XPE operating system. V90LE, expandable thin client running Windows XPE operating system. R90L, high performance thin client running Windows XPE operating system. Supports dual video and numerous I.O. options. R90LE, the R90L with an expansion slot to add more connectivity options. C90LEW, compact thin client running Windows Embedded Standard 2009 operating system. V90LEW, expandable thin client running Windows Embedded Standard 2009 operating system. R90LW, high performance thin client running Windows Embedded Standard 2009 operating system. Supports dual video and numerous I.O. options. R90LEW, the R90LW with an expansion slot to add more connectivity options. 
Z90SW, WISE's highest performance single core processor thin client running Windows embedded standard 2009 operating system. Supports dual high def video and numerous I.O. options. Z90DW, the Z90SW except dual core. C90LE7 Compact, thin client running Windows embedded standard 7 operating system. R90L7 High performance thin client running Windows embedded standard 7 operating system. Supports dual video and numerous I.O. options. Z90S7 Wise's highest performance single core processor thin client running Windows embedded standard 7 operating system. Supports dual high def video and numerous I.O. options. Z90D7 The Z90S7 with a dual core processor zero client CO2 wise zero client for use with Microsoft Windows Multipoint Server WMS 2011. Zenith, Zenith Pro, wise zero client family for Citrix. Both are designed for Citrix HDX environments. Zenith Pro offers extra performance and connectivity options for high end, demanding multimedia applications. P20 Wise Zero Client for VMware. Leverages on chip PCOI processing to increase performance and graphics display. Cloud PCS COOLE, Compact Cloud PC. VOOLE, expandable cloud PC supporting dual video and numerous I.O. options ROOL, high-performance cloud PC with dual video and numerous I.O. options ROOLE, the ROOL with an expansion slot to add more connectivity options ZOOD, WISE's highest performance cloud PC with dual high def video and numerous I.O. options, mobile client SX50C, mobile thin client running Linux operating system X90CW, mobile thin client running Windows embedded standard 2009 operating system with an 11.6 display. X90C7 similar to the X90CW, except it runs on Windows Embedded Standard 7. By 90 mW, mobile thin client running Windows Embedded Standard 2009 operating system, dual core processor, and a 14 inches. Display. 7492X90M7 similar to the BI 90 mW except it runs on Windows Embedded Standard 7 operating system. See also Cloud computing Desktop virtualization Green IT Thin client Virtual desktop Virtualization <laughs>